Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and today I wanted to share with you all my TBR for the fifth round of the Buzzword Readathon. For anyone who doesn't know, the Buzzword Readathon is a readathon that was created by Kayla over at Books and Lala and I will leave her announcement video down in the comments or the description box below. But essentially the Buzzword Readathon is a full week. Um, this round lasts from November 18th through the 24th and we get together as a group and go through our bookshelves or TBRs or whatever you have and read any title that has the buzzword within it. So for this round, um, we have an infinite number of possibilities because the buzzword is any title that has a number within it. So I've got a couple books here to share with you as options. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to plan to pick up. I'm going to kind of mood read, but this is uh, one of the buzzwords that I actually have multiple options of. So I guess I'll just start going through the list. So the top one I have on my stack here, I think counts, but I'm not 100% sure. So I've got The Life of Pi by uh, Jan Martel. And pi is technically a number, so I figure it works. Um, what I know is I believe this is magical realism. Um, story about a boy who gets stuck on a boat with a tiger. I don't know how, um, but I've known of this story for a very long time, and I finally picked it up uh, probably a couple months ago not now at this point. And I really would like to watch the movie, so... I'd like to read the book before I watch the movie, but I think this could be a good option. Um, and we'll see if I get to it. The next book I have is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. I read Around the World in 80 Days, I think, last year and really enjoyed that story, so I would love to read another book by Jules Verne. And I know this is another popular one by him. Um, other than that, I don't think I know very much about it, other than I know Captain Nemo and the Nautilus, so I think this would be really fun to read um, and just kind of see what this story is all about. Uh, another classic I have, I've got a couple classics here, uh, we've got The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas, and um, Basically, the majority of what I know about The Three Musketeers is from The Man in the Iron Mask, which is that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, um, and I know D'Artagnan, <laughs> which is basically all. But it's the tale of young D'Artagnan and his musketeer comrades. Um, they fight together to foil the schemes of the brilliant, dangerous Cardinal Richelieu, um, who pretends to support the king while plotting to advance to his own power. I'm pretty sure I own this on Audible, so um, I'll probably read it that way just because it's a chunker and um, it's probably got a lot of French names in it that I'm going to stumble across. So I think it would be more enjoyable for me to read as an audiobook, but we'll see if I end up getting through that. I also have The Complete Sherlock Holmes, Volume 1, um, which I am counting as part of the title because I do have Volume 1, the bind up, and I've also got Volume 2 over there. But these are the first portion of the stories that were written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. I, again, know um, most of my stuff about Sherlock Holmes because of the Robert Downey Jr. movies. And um, I also did an escape room one time with my team in Austin and the escape room was in Sherlock's library. So I've never actually read any of these stories, but I think they would be a lot of fun. So even if I don't get through all of them, because again, this is chunky, um, I might try to at least read a couple and make some progress throughout the next couple of months in both of those volumes. Um, the next physical book I have is Rebel Spring, uh, book two in the Fallen Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes. It also says book two on the spine, if that focuses, it's not going to, which I think counts, um, but I'm not entirely sure. I read book one, which is just Fallen Kingdoms, back in August for um, the NEWTs. 
So I would like to continue on with my reread of the first four books so that I can finish the series by doing a read for the first time of books five and six. So this is another option. The next physical book option I have is The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. And I know this was really popular last year, um, this and The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, but this one seems like it could be pretty similar to the game of Clue, um, just with a reoccurring knight. So you have Aiden Bishop who wakes up in a new person's body every day um, with memories wiped and he has to try and identify the killer of Evelyn Hardcastle to break the cycle. Um, that's about all I know of this, but I think it would be really fun to read. We'll see if I'm able to get to it, but yeah, should be a good one. I've also got a couple of books on my Kindle um, that I wrote down on sticky notes here for my buzzword readathon spread. So um, first option there is Three Dark Crowns by Kendra Blake um, as the first book in the I don't know what that series is called, but I believe this story follows three sisters or maybe twins who are split up at birth and then brought back together and they each have a different magical ability and there's a fight between them for who gets to um, become the next queen, I think. Um, I've also got Because You Love to Hate Me, 13 Tales of Villainy, uh, which... I believe this one is the author and booktuber collaboration. Um, I've also got 10 Women, which I don't know a whole lot about, um, but there's a number there. I've got The 10,000 Doors of January, which I believe is another magical realism book. Um, I know doors are prevalent in the story, and I think they can maybe open up different worlds or places or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I've got the first 15 lives of Harry August, which I think is similar to um, the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I think it's another kind of reliving life sort of story. Um, I've got the fifth season by N.K. Jemison, which is the first book in, I believe it's a trilogy, um, and it's a fantasy trilogy. And then last book I have is uh, The Hundred Year Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared by Jonas or Jonas Johansson, I believe is his name. Um, he is a Swiss author and I know this was translated. Um, somebody recommended it to me because it was very similar, they felt, to a man called Uva and so I think that would be really fun. Um, a lot of the books I own on Kindle, I also own on Audible, so I'm definitely going to take advantage of my audiobooks for this week, as well as try and um, read through some of my physical books. That way I can end the year uh, with only two months left of um, fewer <laughs> to-be-read books or unread books on my bookshelves. We'll see. Um, all those stats, I'm sure, are coming at the end of the year. So that is my tentative TBR of like 20 different book options. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I would really love to know if you're planning to participate in the Buzzbird Readathon, what you plan on reading, if we have any of the same books on our TBRs. Um, if not, I would just love to hear your options as well. I know there's quite a few different ones. Um, it's fun to have a Buzzword, but be kind of broad. This reminds me of the round that um, she chose to do the who, what, when, where, how, and why. Um, I like to have a little bit more variety than just, um, I know girl was one and lie was one, and I couldn't really participate in those rounds because I didn't have a lot of books with those words in it. But um, there's also a hashtag associated with this. I always use Buzzword Readathon, um, but I think the official one might be Buzzwordathon. 
but you can use both um, or one or the other or refer to Lala's video I'm sure she'll say which one it is um, but yeah I think that's all I have to share so I would love to chat with you all in the comments until my next video bye